Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how we get rid of tater bugs and pretty much any other pest in the garden. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, so here is the actual pest in question that we're going to talk about a lot today, but I'm going to try my best to get it to focus. So we're going to go ahead and talk about this tater bug. This is our uh, tater plot at the end of the chip garden and we have potatoes everywhere and um, we have treated all these plants there is no bugs and there's no larva which that's what these are these are the larva tater bug the rest of our tater plants don't have any on there is because we had to go to the extreme try to stay more natural which we have uh, but we're battling moles and bowls enough here to really have to deal with a lot of other stuff we use 7 500 complete First sign of the bugs, we knew, we knew what was coming. So we went ahead and treated all our potato plants. They're in really good shape. Um, some of them still don't even have enough dieback for us to pull yet. Um, however, when I did see that we had bugs and I treated, I made sure I left this one alone so we could uh, show you guys kind of what they look like. Uh, I'm not really gonna try to focus in and mess with the phone. I will, I'll put a really good pick up for you guys. Okay, so what's going to happen is one day you're going to come out in your garden, you're going to see these little guys on your potato plant, just like I found here. I took a couple of more pics I'll show you, but what these guys will do is hang out on your potato plants specifically. At first, they'll munch out, and eventually they'll get down off your plant, crawl down into the soil, and five days later, maybe ten, they come back out as an adult looking like this. And then the process starts all over again. We always try naturally first guys but when a push comes to shove we like to use seven and i want to draw your attention to the number 500. i like to call that strength but really what that is is just how many pests that uh, it does kill and control now when you go to look for your seven product that number may be changed to 45 65 it just depends and that's why i like to call it the strength what I do want you guys to know is that if you do decide to use seven, you're also going to be taking out some of the good that's in there too. Um, you'll get rid of your ladybugs, ants, and some things that's great for your soil also. So keep that in mind when we're using this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Bobby to help me, and we're just going to wrap this whole plant with a Walmart bag and uh, pull the whole thing up, turn it upside down, get it out of the garden, and treat this topper um, before we dispose of it. We're going to make sure we get rid of the larva and spray it really good. And we are going to treat the potato area only after we um, pull all these toppers up because they've done been treated. They're going to be fine. Uh, we just left this one here so I could do this video. So anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and then we're going to pull this thing out. Uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching and we will see you again on the next one. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then give us a visit at YouGrowFood.com. The link is in the description below.